Hello and welcome to Edson's video on using techniques for SMT. So we're going to be using a hot air station today. This is our 1072 and this has a soldering tool and a hot air tool on it. So I'm just going to be showing you today a little bit of some of the tips that Edson makes and how you can utilize these on your particular circuit boards that have SMTs and different size packages and just some of the different ways we use our hot air system uh, using different pressures in the air to remove or rework some of these packages. Okay, so the first technique I'm going to show you is with this little tool. This is called our shim tool and it comes with any hot air station that you buy from Edson. So what it has in there when you remove the little cap is this little shim blade in there. You can cut it and adjust it to whatever size you want. Uh, this is the size I like to use because it gives you a little pressure when you're using it. And you can use it on lots of different size packages. So it's kind of an all-purpose tool. And I'll show you. We're going to use a setting of about 6 uh, PSI on the air pressure. So it's a medium size pressure. And I have the temperature about 700 degrees. So what I do is I take this tool and I just place it underneath the package. So as you can see, it fits in there. And then we're going to put it up against the back of that lead to uh, start just offering a little pressure as we apply the hot air. And what you'll start to notice is as the solder starts to flow, you can move that shim blade underneath that lead and maneuver. So what I'll do is I will keep working my way up the shim and through the package. And the nice thing about this is you're protecting your pads underneath so you're not damaging the board because the shim is placed underneath, directly underneath the lead. Now if it gets stuck like the way it is here, just keep applying a little bit of hot air and keep moving the shim blade across. And we just work our way through until you get to the end. And there you see, we've gotten that whole side right there removed from the pad. Okay. So what we're doing is we're taking our shim and just applying a little pressure to the back of the lead and we're melting the solder and just applying pressure, pressure, pressure as we work our way and there it goes. Easily removed using our little shim tool. Okay, so now